Hey guys, welcome back to Life with the Patway. So, we have a little small issue with my Furman 7500 watt generator. All right, so let's put it right here. That's off. Okay, we're gonna turn it over to the gas and we have full, it's full of gas. And also my battery is fully charged and watch. Won't start, right? Make sure our choke is in the position it's supposed to be in. Choke is in the right position. Let's see if we can try to pull start it. All right, so wouldn't and pull start. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try on the gas side. All right, so let's make sure this is turned on. That's on all the way. Let's go over to here and let's try to start it. That's it. Now my battery is fully charged. We're gonna try to pull it. All right, nothing there. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this screw this screw, this screw, these three screws, this screw, this screw, and this screw out. And we're gonna pull this panel right here off. Now, and we're gonna see what the problem is. So let's stand by for a second. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on with this. So if you have a problem starting, we're gonna solve this problem today. Stand by. Okay, so we have the bolts out all the way around here. And these little bolts here are 3 8 So you use a 3 8 ratchet to get it off. Now let's look back in here and see what we can find out. Let's see, this is my switch here and we come directly over. All right. Looking, let's see, let me turn my switch right here again. All right, so I see that moving there. Ah, okay. Here we go. There we go. That right there is broken. Yeah, that goes right there. The screw is that. Let's try something. Yeah. Okay. Right there is broken. So, let's see if that's going to be my issue here so all right yep my red lights on there now so let's just put this right here all right lights off light is on all right now let's just see if this thing gonna start up all right gonna choke over here okay All right, so that's gonna be my problem right there. There it is, and see that it moved back out of place just that quick. So right here, this switch right here is gonna be the issue with that. It actually broke right there. So I'm gonna have to call Furman and see if I can get that piece to come in. So if you're having a hard time starting your Furman generator and you changed out your spark plug, which I did change out my spark plug earlier um, and it still didn't start up. This is probably gonna be your problem. And I'm gonna tell you, these things right here are, they get, it's kind of hard. So when you get here, it's like you gotta, we get here, you gotta force it over to get it to click. It should be a lot easier just to go over. You see right now, it did not turn off even in the off spot right there. All right, so we definitely gotta get that switch replaced but i think what happened this switch is not usually hard to turn and that's what broke it probably um so we're going to order that switch and go from there but in the meantime if something comes up and i have to run this i can actually start it up um i actually I probably have to take this off to actually start it but we're going to order this part and get it in i hope this helped guys and ladies so make sure you hit that subscribe button Make sure you hit the like button and follow us for more. And when I get this part in, I will show how we have it installed. So I greatly appreciate you guys watching.
And thank you. And until the next time, we'll see you.